Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we're going to demonstrate another use case of the voice command system that we've been building. Let's see if we can build a new network model and have it execute on our behalf. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm here to help you with any questions or tasks you have. What can I assist you with today? I want to train a neural network model with some fake data. That's great. Could you please provide more details about the neural network model you want to train? For example, what kind of neural network, e.g. feedforward, convolutional, recurrent, and how many layers and neurons per layer you want to have? I just want a simple three-layer neural network on the MNIST dataset. This is a Python code snippet that trains a three-layer neural network model on the MNIST dataset using TensorFlow and Keras. It loads the dataset, preprocesses the data, builds the model with three layers, compiles the model, trains it for five epochs, evaluates the model, and prints the test accuracy. Would you like to execute this code to train the neural network model on the MNIST dataset? Actually, I don't want the print statement. I want you to plot the path. This Python code snippet uses the matplotlib library to plot the training accuracy and loss of a neural network model during the training process on the MNIST dataset. It visualizes the model's performance over epochs. Would you like to execute this code to train the neural network model on the MNIST dataset and visualize the training patterns? Not yet. I want you to save the picture too after you plot it. This Python code snippet includes plt.savefigaccuracyplot.png and p.savefiglossplot.png to save the accuracy and loss plots as accuracyplot.png and lossplot.png, respectively, in the same directory where the script is run. It trains a neural network model on the MNIST dataset, plots the training accuracy and loss, and saves the plots as images. Would you like to execute this code to train the neural network model? plot the training patterns, and save the plots as images. Yep, execute it. The code execution failed with the following error message. Python traceback, most recent call last. File slash content slash coding slash TMP code two five zero of seven zero one D five six nine five eight five E five six A I five dot bind four in module MNIST equals Keras dot datasets dot MNIST. Name error. Name Keras is not defined. This error occurred because the Keras module was not imported at the beginning of the script. If you would like, I can provide you with the corrected code snippet that includes the necessary import statements for Keras and TensorFlow to ensure the code executes successfully. Or, if you have any other questions or tasks in mind, feel free to share. Please update the code and import the necessary library. This updated code snippet includes necessary import statements for Keras, TensorFlow, and matplotlib to resolve the error encountered previously. It allows you to train a neural network model on the MNIST dataset, plot the training accuracy and loss patterns, and save the accuracy and loss plots as images. Would you like to proceed with running this corrected code? Yep, execute it.
So I believe now the algorithm is being executed right now. And uh, it makes sense because we're actually waiting for this experiment to happen. Uh, so it might take a while. The corrected code snippet executed successfully, and it trained a neural network model on the MNIST dataset, plotted the training accuracy and loss patterns, and saved the accuracy plot as accuracyplot.png and the loss plot as lossplot.png in the same directory where the script was run. If you have any more questions or need assistance with anything else, feel free to let me know. No, nope. end the program. If you have no further questions or tasks, feel free to reach out whenever you need assistance in the future. Have a great day. So folks, there you go. Let's sum up what just happened. Uh, so in the beginning, I said I want to have some sort of a neural network model. And it actually gave me a script to have some sort of uh, dense layer uh, in this is a sequential API. Uh, and then uh, what's happening is um, it did not really uh, print the plot. Uh, so I said, hey, you know, can you add a plot for me? Because I want to see something. And uh, it recognized the plot. And the solution here is to use Matplot library to plot this picture for me. Now, of course, from previous experience, uh, and since I know the code pretty well, I can see that uh, maybe there's no picture. Um, so I said, hey, you know, I also want you to actually save the picture, right? Because, you know, I want to not just run it, but I also want to see it. Great. Uh, so we actually went ahead and updated the code for me and add this line of code to save the picture. Uh, so I can show you on the left-hand side uh, that this code is uh, actually being added with the uh, save fig line of code here, line 35, uh, and then line 43, it added those two lines of code for me. And then I tried to execute it, but here's a problem. When it executed, it couldn't really find the Keras library. And the issue with that is, it's so the second time that it reran a code, it only started to import a matplot live library without previously, um, we have the TensorFlow uh, or the Keras library uh, that's from the previous version. So I asked the bot to say, hey, uh, you probably need to import some necessary library, right? Update the code. I didn't even give a whole lot of other information. I just said, hey, please update the code. Uh, and he actually recognized to import a statement for the library. Uh, you add here import TensorFlow, things like that. Uh, that's why in the beginning you see uh, these three lines of code added uh, later. Uh, so once this version is corrected, uh, that becomes a new version of this code. And that's what the script is doing here. Great. Uh, so then I say, yep, executed. Uh, yes, uh, it's actually able to physically run the code. Uh, it actually downloaded the data uh, from a live API from Google. And it's able to execute all of that in this one command uh, by voice. And then in the end, it actually plot a picture. There you go. That's a picture being plotted after the experiment being ran. And then we finish the program from there. So this shows an end-to-end -end solution, or at least a concept to the solution of how to use a voice command to download the data, to train your neural network model, and display some sort of results. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.